What up YouTube? Got a brand new video here today and what I want to talk about is the illusions that EA can create in Madden Football. Now we're talking about Madden Football 18 and I'm talking about the illusions along the lines of a quarterback being able to scramble out of the pocket, run, throw across his chest, hit his deep receiver down the field and he's double or triple covered and you come down with the ball and you like, yeah, that's skill right there. But then you go back and you look in a replay and you like, how did I do that? Now, the illusion that I want to talk about today is gang tackling. And you may say like, resolve. I, I, I thought gang tackling is in the game. After playing this game for a little while, if you check out my last video, I, talk, I talked about dead men walking and how the other players interacting with gang tackles were always passing out like they got heat stroke or they was shot by a sniper or something like that. I looked a little deeper into it and saw something that I did not notice and I can't believe I didn't catch it earlier, but this is what I want to do today. So stay tuned and pay attention to, to the illusions of gang tackling. Now, as I'm scrambling with Cam Newton, uh, in a moment you're gonna see me try to perform a stiff arm and something weird happens. As you can see, for some reason, Cam Newton becomes tethered to these three defenders like a magnet. There was nothing I could have done that got me out of that situation. In all reality, it looked like it could have been broken and Cam could have taken off for the touchdown, but for some reason, when it comes to game tackling in Madden, the programming, for some reason you get tethered to these players and these this is where these weird animations play out. Now, there was no animation that showed any of these three players grabbing onto Cam Newton's arm. Um, his, his hand is not stuck between three players. As a matter of fact, it's laying on someone's helmet. So why, why is, Cam Newton pulled to the ground after the play. Now, you may say, well, maybe the animation just didn't play out and his arm was meant to be grabbed and they were meant to pull him to the ground. Let me show you something. This is what the animation looks like when a defender is actually grabbing a hold onto a limb. As you can see, he has a hold onto his leg and makes the tackle. So you can't tell me that the animation is not there. The ball carrier is like this magnet here while the defenders are like these little cylinders of nickel attaching themselves any type of way. And I'm just gonna put this out there. In the game of Madden 18, there are single hit tackles and there are double hit tackles. Game tackles are an illusion. Now in this play, you may say, well, there's a gang tackle right there. There's three or four players in this play. Now, when you look at McCaffrey running this ball, you see 57. He's the primary tackler. Everybody else is just extras. They are just tethered onto McCaffrey to create the illusion of a gang tackle. As you can see, you know that 57 is the primary tackler because his arms are attached to McCaffrey. Everybody else looks like they just died. So they didn't have a big effect on the play, but just because they were there, McCaffrey becomes this magnet and everybody else attaches themselves to McCaffrey. And instead of wrapping up because none of them wrap up, they all just become stuck to McCaffrey and they all fall to the ground creating this illusion of this gang tackle or this gang pile up when really 57 was the only one who created this tackle so on this particular play this is going to be a double hit tackle now 42 and I believe number 22 is going to come in they're going to be the primary tacklers on this play 22 is going to hit him first. 42 is going to grab a hold of Cam. Khalil Mack looks like he's a part of the play, 
but he is not. He is going to fall to the ground lifelessly because this game doesn't allow more than two primary tacklers. The rest are just tethered on like that magnet you saw. And they're going to attach themselves any which way, whether it be to the ball carrier or to a defender. This game can only allow one or two tacklers at a time. And you see that 42 is attached because he's able to pull Cam forward. And it looks weird. But like I said, these players, these low gang up tackles that you see, three, four, five, even six, these pile ups that you see, a lot of times when you go in the replay, look at it. Look at these gang tackles. You're either going to see one player attached or you're going to see two, player atta two players attached. And all the other players are just going to be extras. They're just going to be there magnetized to the ball carrier or to a defender to create the illusion that you're getting this big pile up this 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 huge gang tackle and to me that's unacceptable man but i mean this is this is this is what this is what happens with ea so let me know what you think do you think that you know they should go back maybe go back to pro tack do you think that they should leave it like this because it's better than pro tack or do you think that these tackles need some type of tweaking some type of revamping you know does this engine need to be built from the ground up again to to look more authentic when they they come in contact with these gang tackles let me know your thoughts it's your boy resolve man i got mine what's yours